Ace of Spades, Destiny 1's hunter-only hand cannon, has returned to Destiny 2, to probably nobody's surprise whatsoever. So how do you get it? How do you get it? It's quite simple, much like most exotic quests so far in Destiny 2. This video, as usual, will just be me going over the self-explanatory quest steps. Uh, you guys keep watching it, so I'm going to keep making it. The first step to get the Ace of Spades is beat the campaign. You got to beat the campaign before you can start this quest. Once you beat the campaign, the first step after that is where you need to get five invasion kills with a hand cannon in Gambit. Now, the wording on this is not the clearest. You need to kill five people who invade your side. It is not kill five people as an invader with a hand cannon. It is kill five invaders with a hand cannon. Now, this step can be a bit of a pain in the butt depending on your skill level. I highly suggest a team for this where you can coordinate who gets to kill who and all of that. But yes, it is kill five invaders, not you invading the other team. That's where a lot of people got confused, self-included, until it was clarified. The next step after that is to get 250 kills with a hand cannon in strikes. This should not take you very long to do, maybe four to five strikes. The next step after that is to get 25 precision hand cannon kills in the Crucible. Oh, everybody's favorite. Again, it's a PvP related thing. This step is completely dependent on your skill level. I think this took me about five games to get this done. Maybe four, four or five, four or five games. The next step after that is one where a video actually makes sense. This is where you need to find four of Cade's caches that are scattered all over the place. The first one is in the EDZ. You're gonna head to Firebase Hades and just run through until you get to the spot where the arms dealer strike actually takes place inside the Firebase. Go to where you normally dunk the solar charge and instead go off to the right side. In the big alcove on what will be your left, if you look towards your right, you should see the first chest sort of in the wall. The next chest is on Nessus. You're gonna drop into the Exodus Black landing zone and go off to the right down into the cave. Go past the Vex teleporter until you get to a big rounded room. On the edge of the room will be the chest. Jump onto the outer ring and you'll see the chest in the, not necessarily divot, I don't know what the word is, but you'll see it in the outer ring. Next up, we're going to IO. Head to the Wraith Mines area at the northern part of the map. Once inside, get to the room with the giant drill and you're just gonna start going up. The chest will be sitting in a hole in the wall, glowing very bright, very tough to miss. Refer to the video if you need help with this one. The final chest is in the Tangled Shore. Head to the Jetsam of Saturn. At the south side of the area is a path that will continue to lead you south into a cave filled with hive. Keep going until you see the chest in the wall in this more open area. Again, very difficult to miss.
Once you get all four of these caches, you will do the mission Ace in the Hole. I won't share the entirety of the mission in this video as it is pretty long, but it is a pretty cool mission and you'll understand what I mean when you go do it. After that's done, head back to Banshee to collect your new Ace of Spades. This thing is pretty darn good. 13 shots in the magazine is as good as it gets. The Firefly effect is not too shabby, but the main perk is where reloading after a kill gets you a bunch of bonus damage shots. However, this effect is much stronger than Kill Clip because one, it lasts for six shots, and two, the effect lasts until you fire those six shots. So unlike Kill Clip, the bonus doesn't go away after a few seconds. It stays until all six of those shots are gone. And you can swap weapons and come back to the Ace of Spades and the bonus will come back, which is pretty good. Makes it very, very beefy in PvP as well. I've heard a lot of people getting killed in one headshot and two body shots with the bonus proc. It is seemingly very strong right now. We'll see how strong it ends up being as we move into the future. But that is how to get Ace of Spades. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time.